Hello and welcome to the 8th video about Pultrusion Machine. This time around I will be showing you some tips and tricks I've learned about this process. I am currently at around 80 bottles and printed tons of things that you will see in upcoming video building my own Corexi printer. In the background you will see a time lapse of printing with a blue water bottle. So let's get started. Tip number one. Don't bother over preparing bottles. I really don't see a difference between a bottle that just has been quickly rinsed with water, left for a couple of minutes to dry and cleaned quickly with a brake cleaner, versus a bottle that has been soap washed, left to dry for a day and thoughtfully cleaned from glue. Tip number two. Periodically check all your screws in the machine as they tend to unscrew itself, especially your nozzle. You can't really use a thread locker on the nozzle as it has to be replaceable and plastic tends to twist inside slowly unscrewing it from heat block. Tip number 3. Every 5 bottles or so clean the gunk before your nozzle. It will slowly accumulate where the plastic strips comes in and that makes snaps happen more often as well as trap the gunk inside the filament. Tip number 4. I have tested a couple of methods to connect filament that is coming from the nozzle to the spool. And believe me when I say this, even a 1.5mm square copper wire snapped. In the end I have used a steel wire and connected it with screw terminal blocks. If you have a better and faster method, let me know in the comments down below. Tip number 5. Go slow when pulling the first couple of centimeters from the nozzle. I am very impatient and this has gotten me so many times I can't even count. Tip number 6. When your bottle starts to snap, not necessarily at the beginning but even at the very end, Slow it down while keeping the same temperature at around 200 to 220 degrees. From my experience, it's better to have a proper temperature and slower pulling speed than the other way around. Tip number 7. How do you know if filament is still printable and where to cut it? I'm talking here about the end of the bottle. Well, I have a simple method. I insert my fingernail in the filament opening and slide it all the way down until it starts pinching my nail. This is the moment I know that filament won't print and this is a point where you should cut and discard the rest. Tip number 8. It is absolutely possible to push the first stripe through a blazing hot nozzle. All you have to do is to bend the tip to a 90 degree and slowly insert it while rotating. No need to wait before pulling another bottle. Be careful to not touch it and don't ask me how I know. And lastly, well, it's not really a tip but a common sense. Wait before spooling until you get at least 8 bottles or so and do them in one go. In the next video I will be cleaning up the mess of my machine. I was busy building my own Corexi printer lately and a next series will follow soon. Hope you learned something and would love to hear if you have any hacks regarding this process as well.